Hello and welcome to the K5 Championship race number three. We are here at Charlotte, the Oval, rather than the Roval that the actual Arca Series is going to this week. We are... Uh, why is there a Gargon Dragon in two laps of qualifying? What's going on? What's happening with qualifying? This is qualifying. Is this group qualifying? Oh no. Nick accidentally did group qualifying. Oh, this is bad. There's also only five minutes. Go, go, please go. <laughs> I mean, I guess... It's fine. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. This has just made this so much worse. The car inside. Well, uh, as if qualifying weren't stressful enough. We are now group qualifying because of an error in the setup. Oh, we got <laughs> Of, uh, qualifying here. So, same rules apply. You're gonna get knocked out if you're not careful. Wow, the track is much tighter. Okay. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> this is scary. Well, at least uh, I think we might be okay. So we'll, we'll get a little extra time the second lap here. That was definitely weird. We got third, I guess. I know I can do much better than that, but... <laughs> I gotta get off the track for guys who might still be hot lapping. I wanted to do a practice green flag pit stop though, so at least it looks like we have some room. I did practice this already. But it's important to me that I get as much practice as possible. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, that's fine. Uh alright, well I made it at least. Start finish line, you only get one lap. Yeah, and yeah, I accidentally I sped off pit road, and I tried to reset, and I couldn't even get a qualifying lap in. Oh, no. There's people yeah, having all kinds of issues. Exactly. Oh, boy. <laughs> Everybody have fun? That stinks. That's point, point, man. Yeah. Sterling was really good in the points, and... Oh no. Did, uh, like, who's in and who's out? We had a, we had a smaller showing, uh, this time. Only about 40 people, I think Nick said. So I don't even think it's a full lobby. Oh. Well, that's a very interesting start to this one. <laughs> that's for sure. Um, Nick's going to try to skip the heat race. Here are the settings I chose. Sorry, I'm like all kind of confused. But, all right. We uh, still made it. Got a P5. Was able to, like, figure it out. Despite the strange circumstances. The track is slower than whenever I was uh, practicing.
Nick or Justin made it in. We are gonna qualify P five. So uh, I guess everything works out in the end here. Charlotte's gonna be a lot about just being patient on the throttle mid corner, not overdriving because the tire fall off here is pretty pretty large. So. Just looking at the guys who didn't make it. We had guys that like sped and then couldn't get their next lap in. And I guess uh, at least there was a sm uh, smaller showing this time. So that way people were more likely to make it in. Two minutes. You've not got much time to sort this out. P5. Let's uh, <laughs> see who's out there for the race. Uh, Nick was going to try to skip it, but couldn't. Well, I can. You need to catch up to the guy Just says pass left. <laughs> Accidentally I hit a hot. I feel bad for the guy that didn't make button. it. That sucks. Yeah, that really stinks. I'm glad I was able to still qualify okay. About a tenth off of what I think I could have done. Yeah, I was confused on what we were doing. I was like, okay, qualify. I was waiting just to be at the end of pit road, just like normal qualifying, and then I see everybody loading. I was like, uh, okay, that's a little different. <laughs> Not the end of the world. We gotta improvise. So. Yeah, I, I would have had a really good second lap, but uh, 26 got in my way, and you know how that goes. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Nah, you're fine, man. Just nothing, uh, nothing no, you can do about that. Right. I didn't even know what we were doing in the first place, anyway, man. <laughs> I didn't know that I was lost. I was, lost. I was, I was just trying, trying to get some laps in. All right, so did you make it or not? I am. A, I'm really excited for this race because it's the first mile and a half race we're doing in the Arca Car here. Mile and a half are generally my better type of tracks. So and we'll see uh, <laughs> if I can back that up, back that claim up in the race. But you know, starting off P5. Feeling pretty good about that, especially because I know I could at least get like a tenth better. It's just like not focused <laughs> since it was all kinds of weird. So we'll get the camera ready for later. Turn this back on. They're talking a lot, but um, I'm make sure I can hear. It really helps your corner answer. That's a little tip. Oh no, I'm at 60. I wasn't using breaker three. I'll have to try that. I, was I don't break. Maybe I should. Did you change your steering ratio or are you at 10 to 1? I'm at 12. I'm not comfortable with 10. That might be why you're tight. I'm running 10 to 1. It, it can be a little sketchy at times, but it's a lot more neutral. Woo! We got three wide here on the heat race. Wowzers. Showed us we you know, just gonna hope I don't put it in the wall. Yeah, me too. I, I did that last week in Phoenix. One thing I'm gonna have to watch out for. I did like a 15 lap run uh, in practice, <laughs> and man, it got real tight in three or four, and it, I smacked the wall a few times. One thing I'm gonna have to watch out for here is race labs. I was doing a race, just not recording recently, and all of a sudden race labs was just like absolutely tanking my computer's processing. I don't know what happened with it. I just updated it and I'm hoping it's not something with the update, but I might have to like quick turn it off or something in the middle of the race at some point because what it was doing is like freeze framing the track while I was out there driving and obviously you can't do that uh, but I do really want to have race labs it's really nice to have so uh, I've got it up there and uh, it only happened once so hoping hoping it was just a one-time thing I completely boned my qualifying so I'm surprised by that Yep, yep. Good race, uh, folks from the heat race. What's up? Hmm. Love the, uh, the man co-car, yeah. 
We'll get there out on track. Yeah, we got three wide and didn't touch there, so that's the way to do it. Good job, guys. Not sure why the track was slower than uh, the practice. I used all the settings. I guess maybe it's a different time of day than the actual race session, so the track was a little hotter, maybe, and so a little less grip. That might have been. Well, I think you're right. Towards mid race, we should have like a mid line. I thought they would run that track a little bit. Yeah, I did find in turns one and two, had a the middle line was kind of grippy. I don't know if I would use it during the race. I would be afraid I would rip my tires up, but. Um, Mid, mid, uh, the middle line in one and two is actually pretty Thanks, viable. Thanks, see you next week if you're, uh, heading out. <laughs> Nick's getting loose. Have a good one. Have fun, guys. Go high. Outside. Sorry about that. Outside is clear. Go around Nick right there. Uh oh. Why is Gavin saying uh oh? We don't need more uh ohs. This could be spicy. <laughs> what happened? I don't know what happened. I'm trying to see my car on one line there and there was just like, oops. I was not trying Yeah, track's feeling more like it was in open practice now. Dang. <laughs> it's looking for a good lap there. So it's feeling more familiar, but we are going to the race now and obviously not going to be hitting hot laps. We got a P5 start, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So we got a... Feels loose there, be smart. Good luck. So we got everybody in here. Justin, Nick, Gavin, all uh, a lot of familiar faces. And unfortunately, a couple of guys that uh, probably just had trouble with the different kinds of qualifying. But time to get out there. One to go. Off session Nick's last on lap up. On the Three sets of tires for a very long race, so we're going to have to be nice to them. Like I said, tire fall off is pretty significant here. We haven't got that data. I'm going to remember. I'm going to make sure not to completely You're trust. My fuel calculator here. I'm going to have to take it with a grain of salt. I know better now, after Phoenix. Oh, what else we got? I think we're good. Ready to get started here soon. Where is P4? Where did P4 go? Did someone drop out? Is that why someone said uh oh? Or why Gavin said uh oh? Man, this is a weird start here. Looks like a first gear start. We're gonna save fuel just because. Will it matter? Probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Maybe get an extra lap of <laughs> fuel if I want to go long. I don't think I want to go long here, though. I'm thinking it's going to be with... Good luck, guys. I'm going to go for an undercut if this thing goes green. Yep, yeah, good luck. We're, uh... Long way. Keep it, uh, clean. Get through this all okay. Good luck, guys. Good luck, man. Looking like a first gear start, so... Good luck. Andrew on the pole. Good luck, y'all. In the Napa car. We'll be looking at him to hopefully get a good jump. Get ready, going green. All right, if you got a copy, I got. I'm not in the car, so I'm gonna probably let you go. Okay. Come on. Go green, go green, green. Green, kind of. <laughs> Got a little bit too much of a jump there, I guess. And it'll lift off a bit. Still there. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. The yellow flag is out. Uh oh. Line up single file. Pit road is closed. We have a quick caution. 
Line up single file behind car number 88. Please That's not what you like to see. Closed. We can't have another Myrtle Beach here, guys. Let's hopefully have another Phoenix. Maybe uh, without yeah, the... Yeah, someone got turned, turned behind, behind me. There was a couple of cars, cars back there all fighting. I couldn't tell what happened, but somebody went. Right across the back straight. Yeah, I got that. Trying to keep it off the track to keep the car from swimming now. Did they take out a bunch of cars or not? You know, I hope it, it, it doesn't fall apart at the end either, like Phoenix, but hoping this is just a one-time uh, thing. It looks like one guy hit the wall good, and then another one came up and hit the outside wall. I don't think it was too bad. Whoever was funny probably got a little bit, but not much. Hope no one got, got too bad in that. Not sure exactly what happened to other than no, what they described. Saving fuel just because. One lap to green. Pit road is closed right now. We're going green next time by. Cool. Shortened caution laps. I love it. Yeah, I think it's going to be single file, guys. Oh, yeah. Single file. That's right. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no one's going to be pitting, I don't think, uh, except for people that were damaged and kind of uh, in a bad situation to begin with. Oh yeah, it's a single file if it doesn't work a lot, right? Nick has established he's going to do that, so... It's like three, three laps, laps or something short like that. Hopefully he'll clear a black line. He should. So, uh, starting fourth now, essentially, <laughs> I guess. Just uh, with a 1 in 100 and whatever, 29 lap race. Instead, it's basically everything's the same. Yeah, I'm trying to do this with something like that. Just protecting the high line makes sense, especially on a large track. The pace car is off. Be ready. Going on green again. Green 73 was not such a great start. Car outside. Keep low. Still there. Need to the black side there. Any close Car outside. Keep low. Stay low. Hmm. There was a car on the high side. A little aggressive here. There was a car on At the, the start. So just gonna pass me on the outside, I guess. They're not expecting a long run, I guess. I'm saying I guess a lot. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really trying to go right now, that's for sure. Shane on the uh, blue line a little bit there, getting a little unsettled. Mm. Checking up. Don't run to the back of me, please. Making sure I'm not just full throttle in the mid corner, making sure I'm getting onto the gas gradually. Oh, 
I'm happy with where I am. How about you blinking, bud? Car feels good. Things have sorted out a little bit here. Why are we getting hit from behind? No more of that, please. I'm Good lucky that guy didn't turn me, because you can't tap at all in this car from behind. It just turns you. So thankfully, got some laps in now. No immediate caution again. Trying to get on the right rear as much as possible. We've got a pass. Wow, they are really driving close to one another. Why is everybody blinking? The first two cars are blinking on the track. Oh, in the wall. That's going to kill his momentum. We might get to his inside. He's going to block, maybe? Oh, okay. Just going to block after hitting the wall. I don't know. I learned recently not to assume someone's blocking. Because <laughs> the guy apologized when uh, I thought it was a clear case of blocking. So maybe he wasn't meaning to. Maybe his car's unsettled or something. Wallace says, I don't care about tires. He's going on the outside. I hope we get a long run, because I am certainly caring about my tires. You are making me so nervous, though. Like, what is this huge aggression? On that blue line too much, but hey, at least it's on the right rear. Keep low. I don't really want to be side by side. Clear up, Still top. saving my tires. I'm telling you, tire saving is important here. Good that, Jeff. I hate these magnetic walls. Oh no. Joe must have gotten into the magnetic wall. Someone has been wrecked twice by lap 10. Yeah, there's some serious aggression going on here. I gotta wonder about some of this, but... And maybe it'll work out for him. Maybe it'll work out for him because uh, maybe we will get a caution and they'll uh, be saved. All about being smooth right now. Fuel calculator sounds about right, I think. Actually, that sounds like 38 gallons seems like a bit much. I might have to use iRacing's calculator again this race. I'm not sure, it'll be more evident later. See all those guys like just moving up the track like that. I just feel like that's gonna be so bad for their long run speed. There's like they're just inches apart driving so hard. Making sure I'm turning with the throttle, not with the steering wheel. Just 
still not really using much break. I'm using a little bit in the throne three. But probably, I don't know if I even really needed need to. Anytime I start feeling like it's pushing a little, I give it a little bit of an extra lift off. Why not use a little bit of a break on entry, I suppose, get this thing slowed down. I think I'm starting to reel them back in, though. Almost got me there, 73. Last lap time was at 31.7. Not pushing any harder, but suddenly they seem to be coming back to me. That's kind of what I was expecting. See how many of these guys fall off hard? Maybe a couple of guys are being fast and being nice to the tires. Well, there's lots of talented guys out there that can do that. Not going to force any pass because driving side by side real hard is not going to serve me well. It's going to undo a lot of the progress I made saving tires. Looks like we might get around Alex here. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. Seems like he backs off. Appreciate them for that. They're still racing very hard up there. They're going. <laughs> They're going all full blast. Still feeling good about where I am. Car feels great. They're all like side by side up there. Pushing hard. You can see them like it looks like they got wheel in it out of the corner sometimes trying to keep it off the wall and stuff. Like all those things are gonna be hard on the car. They are like almost three wide for the lead. I can't believe how aggressive guys are being. It looks just as much, if not more, than just a regular race. Oh my god, guys. Sorry, man. I am flying compared to these guys right now. And I'm not even pushing it. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I'm going to put them out of the prison once. Blink out, I'll put you back. Yeah, I saw that. I'll keep an eye on it. Outside. No problem. You're good. Outside. Thanks. Outside. Clear. Okay. Outside. A lot of my games are going to be in turns three and four. Keep low. Because that, you got to really, uh, let off more on three and four, so tire grip's gonna matter more. Wow, he's pinching me hard. Hard racing. You're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside, two wide. Still there, hold your line. Gave him room there. Clear high, outside. Still there, hold your line. I don't know why he's pinching me so hard. Like, guys, it is lap 27 right now. Keep low. You're in the 
Maybe it's he's not pitching as much as it looks like. Finally. And exit out to the wall. Forward, feeling good. Top five right now. Outside. Go low. Clear. Gets the run off the high side there. Good consistency. Outside. He's trying to pass on the outside, ruining my entry. It's fine. He can do what he wants. Battle for the lead up there. This has been very exciting racing, that's for sure. Slow guy down low. Down low. Guess did we have people damaged coming out of the pits or like doing a crazy strategy? I don't know. Just racing to a pace right now. I could push it and like fly past guys, but then I'm just gonna ruin my tires too. So I'm letting the tires do the work here. Hey, 12, I'm pitting this time by. Not, not, not letting my steering wheel do it. I'm letting the grip on the tires do the work. Let the race come to me. Getting chopped there. Try to give you as much room as I can, Cole. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Maybe I'm oversaving. I don't know. We'll find out. Mitch falling off, maybe, or maybe just got stuck on the outside there. The driver in front of us is Grunowski. That bike was at 32.4. The brakes into this corner. Car outside. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Can I hang on my outside. Still there. Oh my god, man. Come on. Stay low. Hold my corner. Outside. Clear. Yeah, you're blinking pretty hard now, Robert. Hmm. Fortunately, it seems like the tires might have plateaued or something. I mean, we're getting pretty good speed through the corner, but they're still getting good runs off. I don't know.
Just a little harder than I would like there. Need to back it up a little bit more. Ooh, must have got tight or something. Didn't really expect to get alongside him at that point. They are just, they have to fight for every spot. It really does feel like a, a public lobby, but I mean, it's working, I guess, so why would they do anything different? Man, pitting? You too? Go high. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. What was that, Ryan? He said pitting in. Hold the brake. Pits are closed. Check it up, check it up, check it up. <sighs> well, we get in the wall a little bit. Holy cow. Night, dude. Night, dude. Put it I was hitting in, bro. I didn't hear you pit, man. I mean, I don't know what I was doing, but I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you pit, though. I didn't hear that call out. Some text chat, maybe you didn't get it. It got tight then. I'm out. See you guys later. Wow. Well, hopefully we avoided too much damage. Well, dude, I'm sorry. I don't know what more you want from me. I'll run the same line. I didn't even expect you to pit. Miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. I want you to pay attention. Pit box team, 10. I was trying to run my line. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't hear the call out. Three, two, one. I don't think you called it out. You typed it in. Oh, no damage. Heck yeah. Read out. Seventy-nine, ninety-one. Going a little too hard. I didn't notice any text or anything either. Yeah, I don't look up there when I'm running. Okay, Usually people it. audibly call it off. Yeah, normally. Line up, single file. I'm lucky it all coming high. Well then. Left us eighteen. Car by. We'll type tires in there. Catch up seven. Car. Look it all high, look it all high. That was about the same cold aging anyone. That was so much more aggressive off the start than I expected it to be. Yeah, yeah, it felt good though. I was still, I was still laughing pretty consistently. Huh. 70, 80, and Devin on my right. I was at 65, 90 after that. Come on, my number one. Still not gonna be able to make it to the end. On fuel. 87, how bad? Or 86, how bad is my car? Be interesting to see how the damage affects those guys. Thankfully, I avoided any damage. I have no idea how I didn't get damage from that. I mean, I, I hit the wall. I yeah, thought I'd at least get like you're two. Still blinking pretty bad. A couple times a lap, so I was just uh, getting the heads up on that. Two to eight seconds or something. I can see why that incident happened. Um, people accidentally hit. Buttons, the quick chats, often Mostly enough. Idle RPM, what these cars, 1700. 1742. Yeah, I'm down on power. I've had two minutes worth of optional. Dang. That stinks. Still t uh, time to save tires, though. Um, so much more race left, believe it or not. <laughs> Guy's being so aggressive, I swear. I really wish that could have kept going. I still feel like I was doing okay. I think just having to race side by side, even a little bit, might have hurt it. Um, I feel like I was backed down so much more than everybody else around me. But it looks like I might even need to do more 79.91. 
But we will be back to double wide after a good long run there. One to go, Nick right, come by. Get ready. Line up all Should be saving fuel just, just because. Okay, let me calculate something real quick though, because if we have to pit again, we want to know what's halfway between the start. The guy behind, I'm going to try and get out of the way. I'm probably going to be slow, that's why. So I'm going to try to pit around like lap 85, I guess. 90, 90 maybe? 85, 85. We're going to do like 85. I think. Because I want to undercut a little bit. Potentially. So um, I'm going to keep that in my mind in case this goes green to the end. I want to know. 85, 86, that kind of range right there. So, Because I will forget when this caution happened later, probably. Although I guess I do have race labs now. It tells me uh, we paid on lap 39. Great info. So there is that. I'm just going to run to a pace here. Whoever wants to pass me can go ahead. Get ready, going green. Ryan, I'll let you by when I get a chance. I got a top car lap, but I don't want to switch it Post car is off, so time to do your job. This guy's gone yeah, on green every time. Not flag, this time. Flag. You're now in third. Just a little bit before Go green. Outside. Tricky. Go low. Outside is clear. The Bitch wanted the spot. Let's see if he starts saving now, if he's just gonna try to make a gap. Oh, no. I that being... A lot of the saving might come from this turn now, so I think I will start using brake consistently over here. Just driving my line. Shane wants by, I will not fight him. Run off the 94 here. Still there. Still there. I really Still don't want to fight, but I guess he's going to fight. Oh boy. You must have time to go low. There's a car on the high side. What are we doing? Why are we wasting our tires grip right now? Just bring me. I don't want to be side by side. Like, put me behind these guys, I guess. I'll let you buy a ride. Thank you. I'm not pushing it too hard, but if he comes back up, I'll let you back. Bye. Ooh, yeah, some good turn on that new nah, line. Gonna ride around. Don't get too too crazy with it, but yeah, that felt good. If I can repeat that three and four consistently, I think I'll be very happy with that. Was Gavin in that wreck? I didn't even realize it. That really stinks. He must have been in that wreck, I guess. He just left. Oh no. That's bad. Go by me, James. I'll let you go from the bottom. Man, who all was in that wreck? Was Nick in that wreck too? He was back there. Uh oh. I thought I saw Nick 
coming in later, though. So he might just be at the back of the field. Interesting. Hey, well, Ryan. 94 taking a very high entry to 3. I wonder if there's something to that. Guy's really gapping up there. They must not be trying to save too much tire. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We'll see how this turns out. That's a lot of distance they've got up there, though. Well, I'll go hard here, but I'll go hard. So, P4 at the moment. We've got... Guys behind still being patient. Seems like. One spread out a little bit more this time. I got my car to lose even though I'm down on power. Maybe I should be more aggressive on exit. Maybe I uh, should be doing that in turn two once I'm most of the way from the corner. Maybe that'll get me on my right. Mitch showing that uh, he's not just a short track guy. He's way up there right now. Putting on a show. A lot of race to go, but it's impressive nevertheless to be able to put yourself out there. That's not right. I mean, we're still not going to make it to the end, but I don't think we need 24 gallons to make it to the end. That can't be right. Hey, I was going to go bottom for you. Hope this thing goes green to the end, though. I'm very interested to see how this turns out with guys really... Oh, why did I say anything? Well, we have to stay out here, I think. Who's wreck at? Come on. No, we can't stay out. What do we do here? Checking up on the back, checking up on the back. Okay, two, I believe. Yeah, he was just going out of two. Hmm, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. Can we make it to the end? Fifty four now, fifty five. I might come in fuel and take no tires. Roads open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. That's a mistake. Twenty-three point six. That's useless. I don't know why I keep pressing it. <sighs> oh man. Okay, everyone's staying out. Suddenly, though, that big gap that they pulled doesn't look so good anymore because I feel like I was better to, the ti better to the tires and now their gap is gone. 
Of course, who knows? The Maybe they know more, much more than I do. Maybe they were saving tires. Lucky but, dog, come uh, Maybe they're on the right rear flying around this track, and uh, it doesn't matter that I'm going slower. I'm just going slower. Give me an update on where pace car's at. Uh, we're, uh, we're in turn two. two. Let so let's take a look through the field, see maybe where people are. Joe's up to 8th. He was worried he wasn't even going to make this race, so awesome that he was able to make it. Kyle in 11th doing a great job. He's pretty good on the mile and a half type tracks. Nick is in 13th, so I guess he's okay. Lurk has Ryan caught up in that wreck, of course. He was the guy that was pitting. Daniel in 18th. Couple more guys laps down, lap or laps down. Pass me. Interesting. All right. So this has been a bit of a weird one so far. Really stinks that Gavin's out. He must have been somewhere behind us while that wreck was happening and was not able to avoid it or something. We'll see. I guess when he uploads it. We might not be uh, shortening this caution. We'll find out in a moment, I think. Um, depending on if guys were pitting or not. I think maybe people were, and so we can't shorten it. Which is fine, because we are already two to go. Two to green, rather. 22.3 gallons. Hmm. I wish I could trust my fuel calculator. I like the days whenever I could trust it. <laughs> Usually iRacing is a little bit too generous with how many laps you can make. Usually you can make less than what it says you can. So if we could make it 77, we would not make it to the end anyway. So that's why I'm like, well, we wouldn't be able to make it to the end from here. And that's why I was a little like unsure, like, should I pit for fuel? And then nobody pit, so if anyone had pit, I think I would have come in and taken field yeah, probably no two. types. Man, I don't know. A lot of variables to consider. As much as I would... Uh... Sorry for the noise. As much as I would like to... Um... Mm -mm -mm. I'd like this thing to go green to the end. Or go, go green the whole way. I think that uh, that caution did help us. It's like I said, those guys use their tires up, get in the gap, and the gap is no more. So. We'll see uh, how fast Mitch is able to fire off. I'm going to check the tires now. Right, I mean, you're going to have to go by, man. Yeah, I got the lucky dog about to drop the rear, touching the past me. Some guys that uh, maybe rip their tires apart, they might have to be careful of getting on throttle if they're starting first gear, especially. Uh, appreciate it, man. Love the pins all color. All right, not too much longer. We're gonna get going green here, and it's still tire saving mode. <laughs> still a lot of race left to go. I promise, guys, there is. And once you get out of first gear, it's just too much to ignore. So I'm gonna keep doing first gear. When is Mitch gonna go? Pipe car is off. Okay. Keep Still pinching a bunch. Very close racing at this point in the race. Outside, you clear. 
Is it time to use the tires more? I don't know. Maybe I'll start using them more in 1 and 2 since you're kind of more on the right rear to begin with over here. But keep uh, keep backing it down pretty good for 3 and 4. I think that might be the way to go. Josh having a great run behind us in 5. He's got some good content he makes as well. Implying my content's good. <laughs> but uh, I've enjoyed watching his perspectives of these races after they're done as well. Or at least I did. I watched the last one, I think it was, at Phoenix. Which one did I watch? I watched something at least recently and I enjoyed it a lot. Probably going to go ahead and uh, check out his perspective from this one, especially if he's going to be up here in the top five and see what he's doing. Oh my goodness. No room given. Now gone. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low. Clear up top. Leave a lane for him up there. Still there, hold your line. You're back in third. Keep hustling. Still there. Oh, okay, guys, are they're, they're going now, and I don't want to lose a whole bunch of spots, so. Hey, James, I'm about to help you there. Yeah, okay. Maybe we do have to push a little harder, so I don't want to have to try to pass these guys later. Maybe I stink at saving tires. <laughs> it's kind of looking that way. Don't need the blinking. Remember people telling him he was blinking earlier. Seems like there's uh, not much to be done about that. Guess maybe I'll try to work a higher line here. You've just done a twenty-two point two. And it's clearly faster. I just felt like that was gonna be worse than the tires, but it's not looking like that's uh what's happening here. Outside. They're just gonna keep passing me on the outside, I guess. I'm just trying to ride. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm just trying to keep a space between me and the car behind me. Still there. Hold your line. Then I'm racing again. I didn't realize you're on the left. Sorry about the hold up. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh my I'm goodness. What's happening up there? Keep low. to figure their stuff out.
Big checkup right there. Hmm. Really? Man, every time we're about to have an interesting run, like I swear. Like, I was really feeling like I could have reeled those guys back in. I felt like they were going too hard. Well, now it's to it's the end. We're losing all interesting strategy from this race every time there's a caution. Feels like. Dan, I'm impressed as hell. Did you get any hits on that? Keep up with the pace, fellas. Made it through without hitting anything. That should bring us to the end, I hey think. Guys, if you're gonna smack each other around in their caution, then please do it under your own time. Yeah, you guys are gonna start picking up the pace and catch the fish car. Checking up on the back, checking up on the back, going in three. All right, well, hopefully we can uh, not miss our box or anything, get a good pit stop here. Obviously everyone's going to be coming in, I imagine. I don't know why there's a gap right here. Come on, man. Why are we stopping? Go! Oh. <laughs> we'll need to stop again to get to the end. Jeez. Pit box team, in. Five. Come around and that. Three. Two. <laughs> one. Thank you. Right here. 394. Oops. 9.3, that'd be bad. Head cars where? Be mindful, you only have one set of cars remaining. They want you to single file. Glad it took left sides. I think some guys might have gambled and take, took two tires. It looked like it got out real quick, but that might have just been me. Really didn't use those all too much. I have not gotten the extra long runs that I've needed to get so far. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's that can't be correct. We can make it to the end here. So fuel calculator, glad I'm not listening to it this time. I swear it works during regular races, but these hosted races, something's wrong with it. I don't know. Maybe it's just not good at the ARCA car, because you never usually need to use the fuel calculator for the ARCA car. Maybe that's it. Tracy, I know you're quick. Once we get to this restart, I'll be letting you go. Wish the 22 had been up behind the car in front of them instead of like three tenths behind and entering the pits, but it's not a big deal. We'll be P8. I am gonna go this time. Don't do it up on the ground side. Because apparently I'm oversaving. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And if we're gonna just keep getting cautions, then. What's the point? You'll be standing on the outside of me, so uh, you're going to be running right past me anyway, so hey. Safe fuel just in case. I am literally just trying to survive. Not and a bad I'm not plan. I'm not going to be any more trouble than I did for the start. Honestly, <laughs> survival is probably going to be the name of the game here. I mean, I don't, I don't think we're done with yellows. 
I wish this was cleaner. Oh, absolutely not. It's not terrible, but... The way people went, the way how hard people in Ruth on these restarts, there's probably at least one or two more. I mean, we could luck out and go green the rest of the way, but I don't think we're going to luck out. No, that'd be nice, though. Yeah, I've been saving tires like it's going to go green, and it's not working out for me so far. You and me both. Lead cars pitting. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. All right, Compton, get ready. Race All right. The end of this lap. We are on the inside, I guess. Did someone just pit? Did someone just peel off and pit? I mean, I'm losing my mind. But... According to this, we are supposed to be on the inside, so I guess we're starting seventh. Wasn't really paying attention. I was thinking about fuel and such, so... Nick practicing his first gear start. It's a quick shift, but it is fastest, I think, to start in first gear. Pulls to the right a little bit, so you do have to be careful. No worry. What happened to Justin? Found a caution. <laughs> Sorry, eight, Zach says. Interesting. I'm sorry about all the noise. There's nothing I can do about that. Can't see at all. There's nothing I can do on that start there. Everybody was just blocking my view. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Next, getting loose. I right, give the bottom chase. Outside. Clear outside. Thank you. I'm really diving in on there. Mostly just scared him, but didn't really work. All right, 25. I need to build a reputation as a dangerous driver. If I want to get that to work. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. Don't do that. Got too much on the blue line. I know better than that. Alright, get focused here. I said to me. Wow, I thought for sure I'd uh, get alongside him there. He had a great corner, Josh did. Outside. Go ahead and pick the bottom out. I've done laps down. I'm going to play some. Okay, low. Is this lap for Grunowski? 30.8. The car in front lap time is at 31.0. Okay, low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Hmm. Outside is clear. These guys are good. <laughs> it's going to be hard to do much. Just done oh, Jesus. Going soft into the corner. Holy cow. Okay. Get the brakes for him there. I'll give you the bottom of the one, Alex. Stay 
sixth place. Hmm. I think uh, the top Never six here on you there, Wallace. are all kind of driving hard at this point. Right there. Not sure there's much tire saving going on anymore. Oh, you're driving in on you there. Uh, okay, now you're fine, man. I'm I'm just trying to run my race right now. I'm just waiting for caution. Still there. You and me both. Still there. I almost have this car back up full speed. I mean, right that outside is just so strong in one and two. If you have a run 86, I'll let you have it. I mean, I'm not trying to hold you up or anything. No worries, man. I'm just trying to stay out of the way if I can. Ooh, a little bobble. Right there, out of them. Just go ahead and have it, Chris. I'll go high and have it. Still there. I'll go high and have it. Keep blood. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Still man. There. I didn't want to hold you up. That's why. I'll come back to you anyway. That's <laughs> like strong. Keep blood. Like, what can I yeah, even do I about that? Anyway. You don't matter. It's a Stuck right now. Let these guys figure it out. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Outside. Go live, please, Ricky. You realize I have no tire stuff left, so might as well go like a snow. How are you supposed to pass here? Everybody just gets a huge run off the top side. This is so much more difficult to pass than I expected. Come on. No one ever is giving this race at all. Sorry, Ryan. Still there. Wasting all of our tire. This is frustrating. Still there. Get back in the field. I'm going to walk through that Still there. Hold your Come line. on. 47. Slamming on the brakes out of frustration, like Jesus Christ. The gap ahead is now 0.8. Like, fine, take it, Jesus. Moment we took that too wide for like six laps straight. I mean, we had no chance to move forward ever again, pretty much. That lap time was 31.5. I think this is the championship race or something. The lap time was 31.7. I'm gonna have to pass on the outside, I guess.
shit, man. Like, we just, our tires were completely wasted fighting side by side for no reason. So I, I, we just wait for a caution now if we want any chance. Very frustrating. I'm gonna give you the bottom, Robert. Yeah, I'm on the top. Yeah, that's good. Tried a little higher line there, nothing doing. It's like uh, Josh got a little tight there, maybe on exit. There. We got lap traffic coming up? What's going on? Looks like it. That's why I give you that kind of pressure. The lap time was at 32.2. Outside. Outside, clear. I drive the corner maybe. No. Take a lower run. Just possible pass. I just suck at passing, I think. No, no, no. I'm useless. Off, right? There's no point. Okay. I'm like 30 laps down. No, no point. I appreciate it, man. Doesn't help that the tires are gone, but. Make sure I race you as clean as I could for their 14. Yeah, I was trying to get it to you for a while. Yeah, I wasn't going to run into you to take it. to do now but just keep driving I guess not gonna gain anything more the two of us wasted our tires fighting side by side I don't blame him I mean he stayed ahead of me didn't he so I'm just grumpy <laughs> so ignore me but any chance we had was gone as soon as we ripped the tires off. It's just the sad reality of it. Staying up high, as high as high can be. Oh my goodness. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Of course he's still gonna fight me. I mean, that time I only got alongside him because of the lap car, I think, but... Clear. Thank <laughs> you. 
outside. Stay low, do the power on the high side. Stay low. Yeah, well, it's not a lead line, Marion. Five, you've just done a 32. Yeah, fuel there, hold your line. How many laps are left? 33. Stay low, do the car on the high side. Hi. Hi, oh, thank you. How are you gonna do this? Still there. Just give it up. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Get back in fear. Keep low. There's a pick. Yellow flag. Line up single file. Close. Pick road is closed. Get started. Sorry. Was that very smart though? It's closed. This is going to be interesting. You said it, man. I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I really I don't mean that. that. Tracy, he's behind me. He Obviously, I'm frustrated. He's about to get lapped. Pit road's open. Well, of course, yellow. Pits are open. Please go. Please go, 33. We'll need to stop again. Pit box team, 10. Five. Coming around on high side. Three, two, one. Right here. How do I not have damage? Okay. Now that when we retrospect, yeah, it was good racing. <laughs> Ignore everything I said. It was good racing. I just didn't want to be racing at the time. <laughs> oh boy. The messed up thing is this is going to benefit me. Is where? Coming into three. I don't know how to reply on text chat from here. 8091, we are obviously pushing that time. It's are open. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm sorry that happened. I really am. Don't want that to happen. Probably should have just accepted the fact you were being... I was using that guy as a pick instead of just turning into me, but... You know, we're fighting for our dang lives for whatever fifth place. Is that right? Of course. As much as I don't like it, I don't have to. I don't have to like it. How did I not get damage? <laughs> Is damage working? <laughs> Half that 18. Do <laughs> reply. Don't know how to apply. Hey, Carl, where? Uh, we're going to get back stretch for free. We're in seventh now. Uh, we had one guy, two people take either no tires or 
Oh, but there's a jailer, Dan. No time. Oh, I, I can find out. I, think. I barely caught it in the mirror there. I glanced up. I think I can. Maybe I can't scroll on. 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 I guess maybe I won't be able to see. You're gonna have to be careful. Because I don't know how many, what, what tires those guys are on. Those are two fast guys, though. Like, they could pull something off here, maybe. I mean, there still is 20-something laps to go, but if they're saving a set of tires they can use later, might be worth it for them, but... I think we definitely had to come take tires there. Ryan, you want to get off my car? Those guys are like, they got a rivalry going on. They're always kind of snapping at each other. Get ready, going green. Post car is off. Green, green flag, green flag. Man, I stink at these starts today. Maybe it is a second gear start this whole time. Where are we? Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Car outside. Get blocked, I need nowhere to go. Alright, alright. Still there, hold your line. Sorry about that contact there, Chris. They have no foul. Correct. A moment there. Trying to get around the three. on the radio sooner. Where is this three going? Come on, man. Jesus. Wasting all my time in the corners. Hold your line. You're back in fourth position. Try to be fast. Good day, Brian. But maybe even be nice to the tires too a little bit. That might be the difference we need. Mitch going for the lead. Oh my gosh, he's slide job again. I don't know about that. That's just gonna bring everybody up to you. Three wide for the lead. <laughs> Pass Nick on the outside. <laughs> this is crazy. I'll give him that lane if he wants it. I am not so interested in high side in this corner. P2. We still got 20 laps to go, though. As crazy as this is. Hold your 
You all right there, Lance? Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Just gonna hang on. Clear. It's fine. That was a 51.0. I expected to do that car. I almost got in you. Whew. Time to back it down a little bit because we worked the tires hard on these opening laps. Tight. Outside's where you want to be for sure on the N1 and 2. Clear. This is crazy racing, man. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. You've just done it. It's one point four. such a run off of four here. It's really making me question thinking that you can only really run the low side in three and four. That's always kind of how I felt to be the case. Oh, I can feel pretty good though about where I am. P3. I got some track to contend with here. Let me reiterate my apologies for being so mean to Josh. Josh is great. Like, for real. He's always a great racer. And I really enjoy his videos and him as a person. Talking in Discord's chat. In uh, Gavin's chat. Yeah, Discord's Gavin chat. <laughs> no. Uh, Gavin's Discord chat. Like, I, I'm sorry. That was here in the moment stuff. I promise he's not a bad person or dumb or anything. He's racing hard. It was fun in retrospect. I just get really intense when we're fighting like this, so I apologize. I hope uh, if he hears the first part, he hears the second part too, because this is the true the reality part. So I'm hoping these guys will get to battling. On the wall? No. Really close, though. Get a little break into one now. I'm hoping they fight for about 14 laps or 13 laps. Maybe I can take advantage of something here. We got lap traffic coming up. That's also interesting. That lap time was Too wide for the lead still. I really hope this goes green to the end, by the way. <laughs> Don't have any tires left. Tight. 
You're up top, three wide. Inside, two wide. Stay high. Still there, hold your line. Can't bump draft. Clear inside. Gonna get the run off, obviously. There's nothing doing here. Slow car down low. You're back in second. I think I have to take that higher line in one and two. They're, they're just getting way too much speed doing that. Alright, he's gonna force it. Still there, hold okay. your line. Ten to go, this time by. Still there. Take it for what it is. Be nice to do the tires this lap. Let's go. Clear outside. Thank you. He gets real tight up there, I think. I don't want to be down here, but I am. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Letting the tires cool down a little bit, maybe. Go get him. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be fighting. We are coming down close to the end of this thing. We have, what is that, eight laps to go? Thereabouts? I can't do math right now. Yeah, it's definitely the high line, the way to go now, I think. Mitching the wall. Oh my goodness, what a mistake. Oh, they're side by side. This is this is awesome. <laughs> we'll push it further. We're gonna go even higher. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Still there. Still there. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Oh, we're in the there's lead for now. For now. <laughs> okay, no more tires necessary. We're using them. Oh god, they're already used. Okay, I do still need tires. Inside, you got five laps to go. You're up top, three wide. Okay, Colton. Two holes. Inside, two wide. Still inside. Still there, inside. Oh my god. Alright, I'm done playing. We're out. That was fun, guys. I just realized that you can run higher just 34. So, uh, good win to me. I'll see you later. Knowledge is power, my friends. Horsepower. That was a light bulb moment. <laughs> ah, there's my evil laugh. Do you like it? It's gonna be so embarrassing when I choke this away after saying all that smack talk. <laughs> what a crazy race.
I really hope Josh doesn't hate me. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm throwing it away. Tight. Okay, we're okay. Two more, let's go. Just done at 32.5. Just don't overdrive it too bad. You might be okay. I can't believe the Highline came in. That's awesome. I love the Highline. Oh, hey, lap traffic. <laughs> Can't make this easily, can Come on, Colter. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. That's good consistency. Keep it up. I better not get absolutely sent. Chase Briscoe on Tyler Reddick's style. I am. Car inside. No, the not happening. Whoa! Hey Josh, sorry for the contact earlier. That's a win. Great job. Well <laughs> you won. Awesome job. Nah, I got race 25. I almost had you there. Yes. I've seen you coming the whole time and my tires were just going. Well then. Yeah, that car, if my car was big, it was coming a lot there at the end. I just, I just had 30 seconds more left of optional. I think that's what made the difference. Hey, good run, guys. Nice, nice, nice run there, Robert. <laughs> oh, good way, Colton. Thanks. That was crazy intense driving at the end there for the top three. That was super fun. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. <laughs> yeah, we had some good battles going on for race really nice ten. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Most of the group racing right here was really good. I was uh, surprised by that. <laughs> that was a fun run. It's tough to get screwed by that last. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna burn out. And then I am going to apologize in advance to Josh for being so mean. I saw that uh, Robert was running it pretty well, so I kind of moved up and gained a couple spots doing that. The top was great. I was working that really well. Too bad that was a good way. Yeah, I had a This is some of the most fun I've ever had. Sure, that makes up for last week. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, all right, so. Whew, I won. I can't believe it. That was so intense. That was some of the most crazy, intense racing ever. I knew I could come out to these 1.5s and put on a show and, uh, you know, battle better than I normally would be able to, but. Uh, where's, where's Justin? I want to reply to him. Because he said, uh, very nice. Justin got P11. That's a great finish. So, what do we got here? We got Mitch ended up in third after the world's largest dive bomb 
but he was trying to do a slide job and he just uh, couldn't quite get there. I knew it was coming. You got to go for it, I guess, on that final corner. So, not going to let up a top five. You know what? That's, uh, that's a good point. It was a top five. So, um, that's, that's why I was so frustrated, though, during the moment. Um, because I knew I had a car, I had I had a chance to be up there in the front, but battling with them without the caution that ended up happening, there was no chance anymore. The tires were fried, and that's why I was so frustrated. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't say those things. I only say those things because normally no one would ever hear them. So <laughs> I apologize. I really do. I didn't mean. It. I know I'm a broken record at this point, but I want to really get that across. But we will go ahead and see what happened out here. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any messages. There was a ton of messages coming in. Um, I hope uh, the other guys had fun, too. Uh, I hope I raced them fair. I tried to always leave room as much as I could while also trying to give as little room as possible because we're racing for the win. Um, Andrew and Mitch, we had a great battle. Yeah, I think that was it. So, we will go ahead and uh, take a look at the incidents for real now. What was the immediate caution? Did I miss it already? What is... Oh, this is the... Lap one. Oh, we had checkups on a restart. That stinks. I hate to see that. So the nine gets turned. They were mentioning how they got taken out twice before this thing even really got started. Oh man, where's the 56 going? They're uh, there in the, this lane. They just kind of cross over the white lines. Not sure what that's about. Maybe looking at something else. But that's what brings out the first caution, I imagine. That was strange. So, uh, oh yeah, Robert was blanking a lot, so we're gonna have to skip through whenever he appears for a while. Thankfully, the race did settle down. We didn't get a bunch of uh, cautions at the end, thankfully, because it was an awesome battle. Um, didn't have a bunch of cautions at the end, like Phoenix. So, all right, gotta skip by a couple guys. Little guy in the wall pulls it off in the net code. That stinks too. So more straightaway. Why are these accidents happening on the straightaway? <laughs> That's weird. And that was a massive net code too to get the nine. Now that I see it, I wonder if I'm to blame for the first. I didn't see who Justin was. I'll take a look for him. Where is this happening here? Um, is everyone kind of checked up here? It's like uh, guys are just going soft because it's a long race. Like you don't have to really fire off super hard on the on the beginning. So here's Justin. Not at all. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's my assessment there. So, um, 
starts don't have to be crazy at the at the very beginning of a long race. You know, guys have to expect to fire off a little softer, you know, give room. And that's what Justin was doing. You know, the guy ahead wasn't going. He had like a big gap right here. The 18 runs in the back of Justin, which is, you know, he shouldn't be doing. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a slow start, but I mean, priority number one, you got to not get in the back of somebody. And uh, I would call it more on the 18. Uh, you know, from getting in the back of him in the first place and then causing the biggest part of the accordion effect. I want to say we're responding to Mitch. Uh, what do you say? Great one. That was some wicked time. Sure. I give room. Very fun. So, I've got a fork on off the bottom of that as a race went on. So, he'll uh, get the more detailed explanation <laughs> when, he, when he watches this, I assume he will. He's uh, a very good viewer, a very loyal viewer, I appreciate him. <laughs> so, we will skip on past this. Maybe you're playing me and you, and I'm going to Glad. <laughs> That's great. I don't know if I have anything to say. It's any more to that. Get plenty. That's great to hear. Uh, I always like to make sure, um, you know, with the guys I raced against. Um, couldn't believe I line and so much. Took me. Once uh, I kind of found it, though, I was like, okay, now I get what's going on here. <laughs> so, I know, I am sorry. This is just post-race. I'm, I'm just going to label this on the chapters as post-race and incidents, because um, got to have the cool-down period where you're talking to guys and stuff as well. So, we are catching back up to where we were. Mitch is blinking. I went to Dan and we're on the top one and two from the get-go. Still don't know. Three and four. see what happened to the I'm being a bad YouTuber right now, sorry. I'm like still just kind of really hyped up from the race. I'm not even thinking about making a video. <laughs> not much caution-wise going on in this. We will just keep going. Coming in the wall. That's interesting. I wonder why he was pitting so early. Wasn't he like trying to do that pit stop on like lap... 30? Or 33? See you there. Alright. So we got more blinking. We got the 97. Man, everybody's blinking. I hope to see him there. There's still sometimes a question whether you can get into the server quickly enough or not, although there were less people in this race. It's just a little bit of a bumper. Daniel blinking hard. Everybody was blinking. Everybody's eyes were getting dry. They had to blink. A stupid thing to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, 12 under the wall. Pretty good. Blink. 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 Did I break it? I broke it. Unless he's just blinking every one of these times. 
I'm gonna keep going because I think he's l like actually blinking every one of these times because we're actually skipping it. Yeah, it's actually not broken. He's just blinking a lot. Okay, so this is when Ryan he said pitting in like right here, but I don't think everybody I don't think he noticed it in the chat above. And like I said earlier, you can't really blame him too much because half the time people are just accidentally hitting their hotkeys to pit in there, and it's an unusual time to pit. Um, it, it's very strange that he chose to pit right there. He was, like, going for a free stop or something. I don't know, but he's deciding to pit in. And Wallace either doesn't see it or doesn't have text chat on, but either way, he misses it. He doesn't see the message and then just gets in the back of him. I got lucky twice this race to avoid damage. Like, I just take the wall right there. How is that zero seconds of damage? How on earth? I don't know. But who else gets caught up in this? Is this a big wreck? Like... Now we got room back here. Oh, Shane barely sneaks through, but Alex gets into it. That's coming in. Oh my gosh. Fortunately, Zach finds him up there. Whoa! Threads the needle there, Josh does. Great job. Oh my gosh. Guys are coming around so much later, but they still got into it. I guess they don't expect such a big wreck. It was huge. The guys in the middle of the track. Tracy gets into it. Nick got damage. Wow. Gavin. Oh, he gets hard into him. That probably damaged his front so bad. I think he knocked the tire off. That's serious damage. So that is what happened to Gavin. I can't believe how many people came in late. Like, it's happening right there. Like, I guess, you know, you, you can't see it, though. See the smoke right there. It's trying to catch, slow down, and they're just blocking the whole track, though. That's just a bad wreck. Like, everybody's just all the way in the middle of the track. Like, oh, that was so bad. That sucks for Gavin. And all the guys that got into it. What a serious parking lot. I had no idea it was that big. Finally, guys, they're starting to kind of get it slowed down. <laughs> Wallace kind of backs up into the 12 a little bit. That's not going to do anything, though. Well, we're finally getting going after just a huge mess. Everyone getting caught back up, so back to blinking. Back to your regularly scheduled blinking. Mitch did this a couple times during the race, getting the wall. Blinky, blink, blink. And... Uh, I might miss something that those guys did. <laughs> but I have to skip it. We are in lot 53 at this point. Whoa! 33 into the wall, comes down. Ooh. The 25 is able to keep it straight, but bouncing off left uh, the 33 into the outside. He gets some serious damage. Oh, and then we got a couple other guys, too. Oh, netcode gets him real bad. It wasn't even close, either. That sucks. But it's because he's coming to such a fast stop. It's up there. Hmm. That's too bad. Could have been a couple more guys that made it uh, made it through that one otherwise. Ryan Archer breaks it a little bit, maybe. I mean, clearly it's difficult to slow down or something, though. Yeah, he's coming in pretty fast. I kind of take that back, like... 
He's already on the brakes. He's just not able to slow down as fast as he needs to. Yeah, it's just it's tough to avoid these wrecks. And three and four, it looks like. There's a couple more people taken out. I can't believe how many people are getting taken out. I had no idea. I guess I should have by uh, how many people that were in the pits and laps down and stuff, but. Pushing up to the field. Got some more blinking. Is this blinking or this wall? 33's got damage, so he's up into the wall. Hey, look, it's me. Hey, look, I'm gone. I like the 28 Havoline, though. I associate that with, like, a, a Ricky Rudd. Well, the Havoline, of course. Where's the 28 there? 28? What happened? Gets loose off the corner? Looks like maybe Netco got in the back of 28 there. Josh did I don't know. Ooh. Gets another wall. Mm. And then what happens here? That's tough. They are just both giving minimum room. That's just... That might as well just be a racing incident there. Like, is... That's... It's hard to call that on anybody. Like, the 97's pretty high up the track, but you see he's technically in his lane. I guess the 50's a little far down the track, but barely, barely more than he should be. They were just both, uh, giving minimum room. And then we got more people flying in. How many people were left at the end of this thing? We had 17 people on the lead lap. Yikes. I had no idea. Oh, Daniel was in, in that one. Oh, uh, yeah. And he had a broken car, so he can't turn anymore, and he finds out before he can slow down. So, he's uh, out at that point. And so I'm going to spin around. Guys leaving their cars. Blinking. Regularly scheduled blinking. Is Mitch going to get the wall on entry again? No, he's going to blink. I was like, man, you got to stop doing that, dude. Fall on entry. Moody is blinking. Blinking. This wouldn't even take so long if we were for all the blinking that we're getting. There must be a storm somewhere in the US that's causing bad internet. <laughs> so four under the wall trying to give room for the lead lap guys. I think I remember seeing this. Yeah, there I go. I guess he got out of the way. That's all you can really ask for. Oh, here's this incident. Yeah, Josh uh, just really did not want to get pinned. And, uh... It turns across my nose. He really wanted to clear me, but he just wasn't there. And, uh, I had been battling him for so long, getting more frustrated than I needed to be about it. Because he's fighting for fifth, I get it. But he just uh, really did not want to enter the on the high side, and then uh, somehow I don't get damage again. I don't know what kind of juju magic I had around my Arga car, but I break for him, try not to you know, make him hit the wall too hard or anything. Try not to get in it too bad. Did he end up finishing okay still? One lap down, so he must have got somewhat bad damage. That sucks. I hate that that happened. Sorry that it happened to him, and uh, sorry again that I was angry about it. Oh, no. This, I believe, was not a caution, because that was our final caution. Final seven. Yeah. So no more cautions after that. 
I don't think I even saw this behind me because we had three wide going on ahead of us. Oh no, Shane just overcorrects and smacks the wall. Everyone was getting loose that restart. I kind of want to start uh, watch the restart. So let's watch this restart. We are rolling off P7 on the final, after the final caution. Didn't get the greatest jump, but even more so. I think that's Tracy on the outside did not get a great jump, and he's on older tires. Still don't know exactly what everybody had there. Nick taking the middle line. I guess he might have come up and got Shane a little bit. I think Shane expected him to be on the bottom, and then Nick was not on the bottom at all. So that was interesting. Here I'm thinking like we might be three wide, so I'm giving all the room in the world, and I kind of like look up and I see we got room, and then they're three wide ahead. So of course those three guys are all going to be a little bit slower. Nick's doing a great job on the high line back there. Shane, or up there, back there, Shane crashes and I didn't even see it happen. Nick in the lead at this point. It was wild. Absolutely bonkers racing. <laughs> at this point in the run, we're kind of learning that uh, the higher line is working. What aren't working are the three's tires. He's trying to make it stick down there, but he's coming up the track, and I have to lift off for him. Ultimately, it did not matter, thankfully. Oh no, Kyle. Kyle uh, entered pretty low there. That might have been the problem. Doesn't get it turned how he needed it, and comes up. Thankfully, the 07 saves it. Does Kyle save it? What a save! Great job getting it below the apron. So, uh, you know, everyone else coming up fast can get around. Obviously, you don't want to end up in an incident like that in the first place, but if you are going to, he handled it about as well as you could to get below the apron and uh, didn't even wreck the guy, so... Well handled after they made contact there. Three struggling hard. I think he might be on no tires. I think he said something about it after the race. What did he say? Had fun, wish I had one set left. Felt like I had a tough one. Yeah, so he must have been no tires. And that was a very bad spot to be in. Uh, we got some blinking. Just... What? Yep, just a little bit of wall. He's been watching too much Gavin. <laughs> Kyle's got some serious tight race car. Oh no. So that uh, issue he's been having is continuing. He might have damage maybe er from earlier too. Didn't he get in one of those wrecks? Not sure. Three. Man, that car is struggling. Four had a great run. Taps the wall entry there, but he got fourth after starting 15th. Oh, look at that, the 28, the guy that's blinking so much, up 20 spots from the start. I'm just kind of like looking at the biggest movers right now. 26 moves up to 12th after starting 33rd. So. Interesting, that's always interesting to look at, see who, who uh, made the most passes, essentially. <laughs> Blinkaroo, Blinka D. Josh with either bad tires or broken car or both. I think Daniel's probably going to blink there. And then after the race, we got Nick uh, just smacking the inside wall, I guess. Just messing around. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for the race. I pulled off the win. That feels so great. Um, I, I would feel better if that incident with Josh didn't happen because that caution is what allowed me to have a chance in the first place. There, I was taking the uh, Legends Oval, but then I saw people coming, and I was like, oh, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> I was just going to do a lap on the short track. 
but I was like, okay, I'll come over here and do a weird, a weirdos celebration, and uh, scuff up the Charlotte logo a little bit. But all right, very exciting. I'm so happy I was able to pull it off. Uh, sorry again to Josh for being angry in the moment. Obviously, respect, not a big deal. Um, hate that that contact happened. Would have been fun to race him to the end, even if I was angry at the time. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for... Where's the next race? I don't remember. I think it's Homestead. Ooh, I love Homestead. So hopefully we'll have another, another good run there. Uh, and I hope to see you there. Have a good one.